Welcome back. Now, Mercury is set to pass directly in front of the sun on Monday, and an astronomical phenomena, better known as a transit, will appear as a small black dot crossing the sun's face. But for more on how you can watch all of this cosmic spectacle, author and astronomer from this university, David Block, joins us now in studio to give us the 411. Thank you so much, David. Welcome. Well, Dumi, it's always a joy to be here at ENCA and to be looking up with you yeah. as this very, very rare event occurs. Let me just uh, paint it in perspective, Please. if I may. The event which is going to happen is that our closest planet, the closest planet to the sun, Mercury, mm -hmm. is going to come between the sun and the earth. So we will see it as a tiny little black dot steadily crossing the surface, the writhing, seething surface of our sun. Yeah. Now, how rare are these transits? The, as you correctly said, the next one is in 2032, and the average number of Mercury transits per century is only 13. Mm. So during a period of 100 years, we have approximately 13 Mercurian transits. So, so when was our last one? So and and last why is it taking so long until we see the next right, one? So the, the last one was in 2016. The next one will be in 2032. Yeah. And the reason is this. You need a very precise lineup of the, the planet, the Earth, and the Sun. Now, remember, Mercury is going around the Sun every 87 days. Mm -hmm. Then the Earth's going around the Sun every 365 and a quarter days. So it takes time. It takes time for them all to lock into phase right. so that you've got the sun and you've got Mercury and you've got the Earth all basically in the same straight line. But what's terribly interesting is that while you cannot see this event with the naked eye, and I must stress that, never ever mm. look up at the sun with the naked eye because, of course, that leads to yeah. blindness almost instantaneously. But if one has a telescope, which is equipped with very specialized filters which block out 99.9999% of sunlight. Uh, they're called hydrogen alpha filters. Yeah. And they peak at something called 6,563 angstroms. So highly specialized filters. Okay. What you'll then see, what you'll then see is this tiny little black dot. Okay. Just the size of a tiny little P, if you like. And it'll start crossing the um, limb of the sun. It starts at around Monday afternoon at around 2.35 All right. p, uh, p.m. But, of course, it's going to last five and a half hours, which really means we won't see the end of it right. from South Africa. The optimum place to be is South America okay. because they will see it from start to finish. But we've got from 2.30 until sunset to actually see it. Yeah. So those of us who are equipped with telescopes are in for a grand surprise. But even if the public cannot see it, it's just so wonderful to know, is it not, just mm. on the back yeah. of the Bok uh, winnings in Japan, that uh, even the heavens, if you like, are rejoicing. <laughs> no, indeed they are. But I know that there will be, you know, so, uh, certain events which will be hosting, you know, viewing uh, sort of events. Yes. So if, in case you don't have the special yes. equipment, you can go to those particular yes. places yes. and watch. And also you said that even though we can't watch it from start to finish, like in, you know, America, Africa will also still get opportunity to see oh, it, right? Oh, absolutely. If you look at the path, the whole continent of Africa can view okay. this uh, transit of Mercury, which is very exciting. Um, Australia, for example, won't be able to see it uh, at all. But I think it's wonderful. You know, eclipses are very, very rare, mm. solar eclipses and so forth. Yeah. Transits of Mercury are exceedingly special. I remember, to me seeing a transit of Venus in 2004, and suddenly you saw the size of an orange uh, move across the surface right. of the sun, and it's just magical. It's oh. awesome, and it causes us astronomers to look up to me yeah. in awe and in wonder with a spirit of optimism and with a spirit of enthusiasm. Yeah. And that's why I'm so excited no, we about all Monday. No, we can't wait 11. for Monday to come. But thank yes. you so much, David, for making sure you remind us yes. to make a date on Monday. Absolutely. Otherwise, we wait date. 12 more years. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh,